Uh, thank you guys. Good evening again. So good to see you guys all, uh, you know, back for another webinar. So today, you know, I'll be presenting, uh, you know, some of our solutions that we have got at MSO Cosmos. So predominantly one of, one of that is TrackX. So before uh, going into the details of what TrackX is, I'll just like to cover, like, you know, uh, the piece where technology is missing or how technology can add a lot of benefits to the staffing companies and it can reduce a lot of uh, manual work that is being done currently by our accounts teams you know by our operations teams and uh, you know how we can automate a lot of processes at the same time stay eco-friendly by reducing the amount of paper that we use because when it comes to operations and accounts we have a lot of uh, you know paper uh, bills that we use right so which is not good for the environment so and also a lot of inconvenience to the employees, employers to maintain all of them and all that, right? So in order to maintain or to build an eco-friendly system and also help automate a lot of our internal processes, a lot of tools are there which can help it, be it the communication between different be, between the employer and the employees or the communication between employees or the employer and the surrounding entities, be it the vendor, be it you know, the customers. So a lot of communication happens through emails and, you know, you lose track of what's happening. And we tend sometimes tend to miss some emails where, which are priority in nature, or we may tend to forget to, you know, follow up on few things where we need to get the accounts and all that, right? So the solutions that we are going to present today is going to handle all these, you know, problems. So first of all, when it comes to TrackX, right? TrackX is one of the solution which we have built which will help you simplify your business operations. It could be with respect to handling your travel and expense, or it could be with respect to managing your incident, managing your projects, or raising your invoices, or communication between different enterprise applications, right? So as you can see, TrackX is a cloud-based. So again, we have a cloud-based system, which is simple. It's a SaaS model. Any number of users can be onboarded without having any performance issues. It's an online tool. We have got mobile apps, and uh, you know you can be anywhere in the world and the application would be you know in your hands right we have got mobile apps which will work offline also and when the internet is available you know the data will sync through so it's not just from the employee perspective a lot of benefits that you have got when it comes to travel and expense so when it comes to the travel side of things employee doesn't get to choose you know what flight is traveling right say for example i want to travel to you know mumbai or bangalore anywhere. So my employer allows me to travel through a flight and then make reservations through a hotel. So right now, most of the staffing companies or most of us have to deal with a third party agency or through public platforms like make my trip or Yatra or anywhere we will go, the employee will book it offline. And then, you know, they have to upload the tickets and then, you know, interact with the accounts teams to get it, you know, reimbursed. So there is a lot of hassle with when it comes to, you know, traveling as well as you know getting the reimbursement done second thing from the employer side you know you want employees to stay compliant right so as long as the employees are compliant to the travel and expense policy that you have set you know you were you will not have much of a headache and you know at the same time the employees want to stay in compliance so they need to be aware of how much they can spend for each meal you know what what kind of a class they can travel in so what is the set budgets the organization has set you know, when it comes to travel. So, you know, TrackX has all these features which are, you know, embedded, already built in where employee can choose their own flight options, right? It's not like another third travel or third party agency is booking it for their benefit of commissions. Employees can book it at their convenience. They can book a flight, they can book a hotel, they can book, they make a car reservation. You know, by the time you reach the destination, everything will already be set and you can, have your travel already sorted out right so our mission is to provide you know or simplify all these business travel needs as well as you know the expense management reimbursement process bring transparency and at the end bring a lot of insights into organization how to you know allow for efficient travel when i say efficient travel would there be an efficient way of traveling like would, would you be able to save more money through your travel. So if at all, if you were, you know, booking your flight a couple of days in advance, or what if you have a tie up with an airline or a hotel chain 
which can offer you better rates, maybe 50% of your, you know, of the public rate that, that was available. Again, our vision is to proper modern systems, right? So, and because the travel marketplace is changing very fast, so you want to ensure we advance and, you know, innovation is our main model, you know, through which we use our mobile apps and all. So we allow very less number of, uh, you know, clicks and then allow users to make advanced reservations or to provide a lot of cancellation options, which are not actually easy in this world, right? Again, so when it comes to this innovation and all, so we have got, we, we tend to get a lot of bills, right? So I have had a lunch at a restaurant and by the time I'm back, I lost the bill. So, you know, we have got mobile apps which can scan through your bills. You can upload them into the expense cloud and they will be automatically taken care of for approvals, automatically taken care for submission to reimbursement, right? It will be completely hassle-free. You just have to take a snapshot of the bill and rest all is automatically taken care until the reimbursement. So everywhere we have this push notifications, everywhere we have got this pre-compliance check and automatically the notifications will go out to the accounts team to process the reimbursement. If at all, if it is asked for the pre-agreed or pre-approved trip, you can actually go very hassle-free from start to end. You can book, make the booking and then come back. And by the time you're back, you will, your accounts are already sorted out with respect to this reimbursement, right? So, and especially when it comes to handling the travel, so you have more options with respect to upgrading your flight options or changing your, changing your hotels, as well as making your you know, on-the-go car reservations, everything is already being taken care of here. And con considering the pandemic, right, there has been a lot of need for expense management system where a lot of companies you know, tend to handle these bills separately. Right, so we have got a lot of bills where electricity bills, telephone bills, a lot of bills coming through for the accounts, and you know they are not able to handle it offline or through emails. So the employee just logs in here, and you, you know the accounts will take care of submitting the bills. And if it's a repeated expenses that we can set up, we can set up an automatic approval process. There can be a linear approval process as well as non-linear as well, where you know multiple approvals can be triggered when you know, in case the bill exceeds uh, a certain amount of entitled cost, right? And these are all not preset. Every organization can set up their own policy in the way they want it to be. And uh, it's very flexible in nature. And you can uh, actually add additional approvers, set uh, budgets for each approver, allow different uh, people to travel at different costs. So the tool will take care of everything from the start till the end. So when it comes to overview, we have got real-time booking experience as well as real-time expense tracking. And we have got integration with QuickBooks and Tally where we can transfer the bills automatically from TrackX to the accounting tools like QuickBooks and Tally, right? Again, as I said, like we we save a lot of paper trial because accountants have to maintain these paper bills for up to five years to submit for audit. That won't be needed anymore because everything is digitally stored on cloud and everything's already taken care. Every time an account wants to open a specific bill, even though they are three or four years ago, they are already available in the system and employee doesn't have to keep hold of them at all. When it comes to analytics and reporting, we are experts in dealing with, by default, there are a lot of X report, X reports and dashboards that are available at different level. The cost center had can look at his spend versus what versus his budget. Each manager can look at his budgets as well as all the travel that happens within his team. And uh, you have branch heads who can look at the entire, you know, holistic view of what's happening in the travel world. And uh, when it comes to travel within the city, Right, so we have got mileage trackers embedded in our system. We have got Google Maps integration through which you can travel. You can find out how how far your employee has traveled, and you can, you know, reimburse them based on the number of kilometers they have traveled. And we have got live mileage tracking also in, in our mobile apps through which you can actually track the number of kilometers an employee has traveled. You can start the tracking and you can end it, and by default the system will create a mileage entry in the system, which will tell you how many, how many kilometers the employee has traveled and how much reimbursement, you know, he's going to get. So you have full visibility and tracking when it comes to your employees 
uh, expense uh, request, right? And TrackX will also help you identify the cost saving opportunities. When I say cost saving opportunities, you can set you know, rules in the system which will allow them, you know, employees to book only the top five cheapest options. If the employee is choosing anything more, like if he's choosing, not choosing the cheap options, he can give a justification and then an exception would be marked against it to tell them that, you know, you're not traveling as per the compliance and you have to specifically tell them why you're not traveling to it. Right? So there is a marketplace that we have in TrackX. So where the partners can integrate with TrackX and then, you know, allow, we allow HRMS systems, we allow a lot of other systems, accounting systems to integrate with TrackX to get the data and then provide that, you know, holistic integrated platform for organizations. And we have different reports that have been built into the system to allow tax taxation and compliance, you know, which are needed for accountants to file them. So again, the mobile accessibility options on the go, reduction in IT costs, increased card spend visibility. So we have got car, corporate card integration. So we have ma majority of the corporate card uh, providers, we have done the integration. So as in when you have the corporate card, any expense that you have done on the corporate cards, they will be automatically fetched onto TrackX and the expenses would be automatically recorded. So you can just mark them as, you know, expense for a specific business trip and then go ahead and submit for reimbursement. So the accountant will pay for your credit card. Approve functions for supervisors. So that means your supervisor, you know, as I said, linear and nonlinear approval flow can be maintained. It's an NT2 and easy to use systems. So since we have been partners with ISF for, you know, a couple of years at least now, we are going to provide this membership option, which is free of cost for every ISF member that is there. And uh, they can use both the travel as well as expense management system that is there. Along with this, I'll in the next slide, I'll tell you what are the solutions that are there that are on offer for the ISF members. Using TrackX, you can book flight, hotel, car. We are in the process of integration, integrating the bus as well as train. So it's absolutely free of cost for all the ISF members. So they can just write to sales at trackx.com if, if you're interested by you know one-to-one -one demo where you know you want to have a demo, you know, try to, you know, have, have a free trial access to the system, use it for yourself and find out how much cost you can save. I can definitely tell you that, you know, every flight and hotel that are available in the market is at least 20 to 30 percent less in, you know, trackings. Or when it comes to the international travel, it will be even more, right? There are no convenience fees that we charge and we get direct, we have direct integration where we don't scrap rates from different, uh, Websites, we directly get it. I have integrated with the airlines and hotel consolidators, and the rates that we get are the net rates, right? So they will be, we are very aggressive on the pricing considering the current market situation. So, you know, there is a lot of cost that can be saved. So, along with travel and expense management solution, RackX platform also offers incident management system. The incident management system is something that we have, you know, added to TrackX platform, considering uh, there was a sudden pandemic and there are a lot of employees who lost in, you know, who isn't in constant touch with their employers and, you know, there are a lot of incidents, suddenly some IT incident would happen. They are, they, they have queries that they need to get in touch with the operations team, accounts teams, you know, infrastructure teams, a lot of teams that, you know, the support functions has to be in touch with employees and not everything can happen over an email. So we have built this simple application where Employees will be able to log their incidents and uh, the support members or the agents can take care of these incidents and support all of their employees who are working in different organizations. So they can ask, you know, queries with respect to the payroll provident fund or if they have questions with respect to, you know, or to the HR, so they can raise it instead of sending it to an email or calling them, they can just raise a simple incident and, you know, it's, it's there forever. You can track how long it took how, you know, how long it took to respond, how long it took to resolve. Everything will be tracked and customized reports will be built on top of it, uh, which can be presented to everyone. And along with the incident management system, we have got HRMS and timesheet portal, you know, to onboard different employees and to track timesheets of different employees working in different or multiple organizations, right? You want to find out if your, bill, if your billing is happening on a per hour rate or per day rate, you, have, you want to find out how many hours or days the employee has worked in a specific month 
the time sheet portal will absolutely help you and uh, moving on the immigration case management yeah this is specifically for us where you know you handle with a lot of h1 transfers and all but uh, you know that is we can handle immigration cases through this application along with this uh, we have got project management you know as you know a lot of uh, again this is a very proprietary custom built that uh, tool that we have built to manage different projects that are happening you know either in your research department or some new initiative that you have taken in the organization or be it the ongoing projects how many employees you have engaged with specific you know organization and everything can be dealt with here and you can get different updates on different tasks whether you are on time off time or you know whether there is any scheduled slippage or task slippage everything can be tracked to this tool right? all these applications are part of your tracking suite and uh, they are absolutely available for free of cost considering that you know the challenges that we are facing during the pandemic the communication is kind of important all these tools if you have observed right is with handling the communication between the employer and an employee right so how to ensure the con communication gap is not there anymore and all the employees are being served right on time and which can save you a lot of money right so this is some of the these are some of the metrics that we have gathered from our uh, you know current employees as well as from market so you can save 90 per, 90% of your systems can be integrated with trackx you know we have got connectivity with all the account systems hrms you know financing systems you know they are all compatible with us right and doing a, ex, eliminating a lot of manual processes will lead to saving time and 70% of your time can be saved and when it comes to traveling of course everything is automated you can easily achieve 80% of your time 80% of your you know workflow and time can be saved time and money can be saved on travel and expense of course saving time will lead to more compliance more productivity you can you know boost your decision making and performance also so there are more resources that are available on the website like on the trackx.com website and a uh, lot of blogs a lot of resources that we have found a lot of case studies that we have done for different clients so they are all available on the website we will be sharing uh, you guys all of them and here are a few of you know what the clients has to say you know we have actually saved you know solved a lot of problems in the staffing company when it comes to dealing with expenses and incident management has actually saved a lot of time there right so i'll be wrapping up by just saying that you can get in touch with sales at trackx.com we have got our offices across the globe you can write to us at sales at trackx.com we will you know serve you to the best of our knowledge right so the our support is available 24 by 7 and uh, we we are more than happy to you know deal with with any kind of questions that we get have a separate one to one demo with you guys and uh, we can take it up from there right thank you guys thank yeah that's you, all i have to uh, say thank you very much thanks a lot for the so much and competent session and the details that you shared i am sure this has been very helpful to all our members which are already a part of federation and uh, going next to mr samir uh, may i invite you for uh, uh, your inputs and your uh, information details that you want to share with our members uh, mr samir uh, please uh, switch on your camera please thank you yep thanks yeah yeah thanks so much um i today um yeah, what i would like to talk to um the the folks here and now it's in the staffing industry i've been in both sides um as being a service provider as a staffing um um uh, services provider to the end customer and now we build a solution around uh, really helping us solve the problem problem for the industry and i want to keep um you know if you look into the staffing industry as a, as a whole uh there are few things that are we facing today right the, the number one the most important problem that we have today is finding the talent finding the talent uh and that's getting even difficult if you are finding a talent more towards um you know engineers and uh, it um uh, any specialized skill set of those candidates become extremely difficult and then also as we become talent becomes much more scarce our dependency on um you know paid job portals to um uh, employer referrals there are a lot of things that we dependency goes up so when when we have some of these things that are happening around um um 
our time to spend on finding the candidates becomes extremely time consuming. And uh, more importantly, uh, the time that we have to spend on actually engaging a candidate uh, for, um, you know, talking through the job and explaining uh, what job benefits, how the job benefits, how it helps them, uh, what the pay pack is and all of that. They don't have much time to do that. So if you, we don't spend a lot of time on, on engaging employees, uh, but spend a lot of time on searching candidates, finding ways to uh, curate the talent, uh, that became very time consuming and in fact expensive because you're not uh, spending time in engaging the candidate. So that would lead to less number of placement uh, for the firm. And basically it's, uh, it's a, a lower revenue for them. But more importantly, the time taken to find that uh, a good qualified candidate for that job, uh, if you take more time that your competition, competitors in the industry or other suppliers servicing to the same customer would already be submitted to the candidates, then you lost the opportunity to do it. So uh, as part of the CPAL portfolio products, uh, you know, we build into how efficiently can we engage the candidates, how, how fast can we find uh, the talent that we're looking for. And then once you find the talent, once you find like three or four qualified candidates, how, how do we engage them? How do we create that experience with the employer so that, uh, because we see uh, um, very rampant in the industry saying that, uh, the dropouts have been extremely high, right? Like, you know, you offer a job, uh, 10 people get uh, an offer letter and you're finding a hard time to even get half of those kind of actually coming and joining you. Uh, the reason is obviously, in, you know, the engagement with the employee is much uh, shorter time. Uh, it's almost like a transactional basis. There's no relationship building. So they have no loyalty to uh, one employer or the other uh, in terms of picking up the package. So I think, I think what we're trying to, you know, continue to innovate in our space is to uh, how do we use technology to bring some of these activities into, um, you know, very short time so you would actually spend more time with the candidate. I also apply some of these tools to uh, engage them, create that experience to those candidates. So let me share um, one quick uh, uh, slide. So um, CPAL is, um, and I will just uh, take you quickly. Um, these are the portfolio of products, right? CPAL, this is what I was talking about, the applicant tracking system that how do you, um, you know, find the talent, engage the talent, and I'll, you know, ultimately you onboard them. Another thing that I wanted to uh, point it out, um, you know, the reliance on staffing firms on a job portals has become extremely high. Now that would have been probably one largest spend for staffing companies is to you know get more um, uh, number of seats, more resumes. Uh, uh, you know that becomes in one of the largest spend for is the subscription to job portals, right? But if you have a ten recruiters um, engaging and finding uh, talent, and if you don't have a good applicant tracking system, uh, it's very hard for you to really. Um, you know, you, you spend, let's say, uh, you know, four or five lakhs uh, in, in a year, but you collected those resumes. Where are those resumes? Probably mostly, most of the resumes are staying uh, with recruiter systems, right? Are there emails? Um, but if you started curating all those resumes into a database, it categorized, it is tagged appropriately. And some of them, you already interviewed them, but do you have the feedback on those candidates stored somewhere in the system? So when you're looking for, sometimes the candidate may be good, uh, but not an exact match, but you may have a job that coming up that have a good match on the candidate, but you already interviewed the candidate, you already assessed the thing, but you don't have all the uh, comments that have been stored in it. But uh, more importantly, when you are actually looking for some a job like that, and then you search on a candidate and the candidate pops up, somebody's already interviewed, you have all these comments about the candidate, uh, you know, it becomes much easier for you to uh, propose a candidate against a job just because you already, somebody in your organization already interviewed, they've captured all the comments. Um, it just becomes so much more. But it, it doesn't happen all at once. But as you continue to service your clients and build your database, 
will you know capture all the uh, feedback and the comments of the candidate over a time that becomes your knowledge base so you know in fact um you know candidate database is a corporate asset right because the the the, the more and more time you you spend the number of years you you curate all these uh, candidates um, that becomes your corporate asset. Uh, so your reliance on job boards will continue to go down. Over time, uh, you have uh, built enough database of candidates, and then you have built this system to start curating from different sources, uh, from you know referrals to career pays, uh, job portals to you know public forums and, uh, and LinkedIn. All of this information eventually helps you to reduce your overall cost uh, spend on job boards too. More importantly, it brings a lot of um, intelligence and automation, right? So I'll show you some of the things that uh, you could do it. But just before that, CPAL uh, servicing almost, you know, it's 1,900, almost 2,000 staffing clients globally. Um, it's uh, it is almost uh, 250,000 recruiters use the platform today. Um, uh, we have almost uh, close to 400 employees today. Uh, servicing to clients across the globe. We are, we are operated at five different countries, uh, 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 clients across the globe. We've been consistently uh, in top rated um, software platform. More importantly, um, and I let me, uh, so here I want to talk about, right, quickly, applicant rank system. So once you kind of get onboarded with the workforce management, manage the entire client uh, consultant engagement from capturing and their timesheets, um, uh, their billing back to the client, and you could track uh, who are your suppliers, uh, supplying candidates to your client. All of that can be tracked. Textual is another thing is in, you know, uh, today's world, um, do you, if you, if you look into it, your uh, email, your phone call and text, uh, what do you think you would get the fastest response? Um, that's, uh, texting, right? Either it's a WhatsApp messaging or your like uh, regular carrier, uh, cell phone carrier texting messaging platform, right? So if you, if you text somebody, if you send a WhatsApp message, you 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 get a much faster response than you send somebody for an email or most of the times, you know, people don't pick up the phone. So they're not available, they're at work. So, so that's why the text to hire is our platform that we integrated Test text messaging, so right in the platform, uh, you know, let's say if you're interviewing, you're looking at the candidate, you really like the candidate, you can actually text the candidate right from the system, either through your career or through WhatsApp messaging, uh, WhatsApp platform integration, you would actually send out, then the chances are you get a response from the candidate much faster because we all know that we all watch our um, uh, phones, uh, we always respond to text messages. The procure wise is amazing. basically if you have a large um, enterprise staffing firm, then if you have let's say 30, 40, 50 suppliers, then you actually can uh, manage all your suppliers, um, their candidates, uh, their invoices, their payments, everything can be managed through procure wise platform. Uh, we have implemented um, you know procure wise to some of the largest system integrators in the in the world. So and this is the portfolio. So now if you look into it, right? You would you could find the candidates. You manage your uh, consultant workforce. Uh, you engage your consultant workforce, and then you actually manage your suppliers. So build this whole ecosystem. And CPL also built into all, you know almost 150 integrations. Like I was talking to you about, um, um, you know, WhatsApp messaging is one, right? And then there's, there's a lot of plenty of dashboard uh, job boards that's been integrated with CPL platform. Um, then I want to give you right some of the game changing features right this is like auto sourcing bot like this I'm, I'm not going to talk about all the features in the CPL and but I'll, I'll highlight some of them right this auto sourcing bar what happens is when you have a job has been submitted into the system um, it uh, it's automatic email to this is what, what happens is a bar search the candidates that's available in your database and finds the top three, top five, whatever you configure, and pick those candidates, sends an email, text message, or even make a phone call automatically, right? And then uh, it also sends you, um, uh, you know, sends a, a quick text messaging just with a URL link 
Um, then they click on it, bots get activated, ask the simple basic questions about, is this something that you're interested in? Doing? Yes, this, here is a pay rate, are you interested in? Doing? Here's the location, here's the type of skills you have. It. So it quickly qualifies and very interactive, right? It's a fun, people would, oh yeah, it's good. So then you would actually, while candidates get interacted, interacting with the bot, bot actually collecting a lot of useful information for you to actually filter the candidates uh, for the job. So it's make it much more fun and engaging the candidates, but at the same time, the bot is uh, collecting all the information um, about the job, about the candidate and, and mapping into it, right? And this is also builds automatic talent pipelining. Let's say, if you imagine if you, um, if a, a, a recruiter has to pick up a phone or send an email to five, six candidates, uh, it's hard to get it, but bot can, sent out, you have 10, 20 jobs, it goes out 100 top uh, identified candidates and collects all the candidates database and feedback and stores in the system. When you search, um, these are all becomes a search keywords. So it pops up about the candidates. So you, over time, you become a very powerful database engine of the candidates that would uh, really helpful to um, uh, build uh, uh, a candidate database and also helps you to less rely on, on job boards. That's a tons of money that gets saved. So for an example here, right? It sends you, uh, it asks you, <clears throat> um, uh, uh, this is how it looks like, you know, if you're in the CPAL, right? Uh, it pops up um, and just like this, it's a simple email information, you have uh, filled about the candidate uh, and then it start communicating with the candidate and talks about uh, the job, talks about their interests, their skills, all of the information to it. It also, what happens is, um, CISPAL, CISPAL also built into a chart bar, uh, just like this. Um, so when somebody uh, gets you a career case, it start engaging uh, on a candidate. What happens is, these are all like, you don't have to type anything, you just pick and choose the questions, like right? yes, no, uh, I'm interested, I'm, you know, this is something you, you pick a different options is very interactive, but uh, what happens is every time a candidate gets in, there's a call to action, right? So you're actually engaging the candidate every time somebody gets into it. So that means, um, you know, you, a lot of times people come in, check the jobs, they leave, but, but having this, you know, con con conversation bond, it actually, every time somebody gets into it, it actually pulling the candidate information. So it's building your, um, you know, candidate uh, database, also bring, bringing a lot of traffic to the website. And it is, um, you know, it's a, a super, yeah. And then you could, you know, uh, again, how do you want to, this is, this is the configuration settings where how you can engage a candidate in different, very extensive um, platform of how differently you can engage candidates. Um, this is another one is an employer referral portal. So it's a built into it. Uh, so we look into it, right? How many ways you engage the candidate, uh, how many ways you actually can curate the candidates, right? Curation is collecting the candidates, right? If you look into it, uh, there are ways like, um, you have career pays, right? That's where people come in, apply for jobs. And then you have employer referrals internally, right? You have paid job portals. You have LinkedIn kind of, uh, th third party. Uh, referral, uh, uh, third-party uh, passive candidate databases. And then um, then obviously you have these, um, uh, uh, your internal database that you're going on. So all of these different types of uh, uh, you know, candidate sources, you can plug that into it, create a one centralized database, tag the keywords, capture all your content information. So every time that you spend in every minute on a candidate is that information get captured into the database that becomes an extremely valuable asset for you. And then CIPAL does all of these areas and combine into it. It makes you a powerful engine of building a candidate. In fact, that's what it is, right? I mean, staffing firms, the, the number one revenue base is how fast can they find a candidate, how most qualified the candidate is, and then um, you know how fast you can actually submit the candidate and sub, this candidate gets selected by the client. Because when you are faster, when you're meeting more uh, submissions per uh, job, that means not only you get higher set of closures, but also you would actually become the prime suppliers because you have much more success than your uh, uh, other uh, competitors. Uh,
with, with the client, they actually start earning more business. So, yeah, you know, this is the whole platform was built around how can we make uh, staffing firms um, be successful um, and generate more revenue for them. Um, and this is another one is CRM for staffing firms, right? CPL has built, um, you know, even you can engage your clients, you know, with your vendors, with, with a candidate, CRM for candidates, CRM for clients, CRM for vendors. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of uh, CRM platforms out there in the market, but they're very generic, right? But this is not a generic platform. This is built for staffing firms, uh, knowing the staffing firms, um, uh, you know, the workflow and the process. Uh, and this is a, a specialized uh, for, for staffing. So if, if you configure the CRM, it's all about um, in, um, in, in generating more leads from clients, uh, collecting more uh, leads on candidates, and also engaging you know, the vendors. So this is all about uh, the, the staffing from success. Uh, and the CRM is the important tool, and it has been completely integrated into the system. Um, and then the BI, right? The business intelligence is built into the platform, talks about, um, um, let's say, uh, you know, if you have five clients and you have 50 recruiters looking and working at different clients, you don't know who is working and what, right? So you could track uh, how many submissions for a client, how many submissions went from a recruiter to a client, or how many submissions from recruiter to different clients. You could track various ways and how much uh, revenue generated per recruiter, how much uh, uh, revenue generated by the client, and who is your best suppliers, um, uh, who was the supplier had most placements um, for your client. You could track literally to slice and dice that information and, and then look into it. And actually, this gives you a lot of insights of your operations, your business. And then you could uh, take the appropriate, uh, um, you know, um, actions to to correct it and possibly make more uh, um, more revenue out of this, right? And as a as an overview, right? I was talking about applicant tracking system, talent management, vendor management, and, and there are out of the things we we build into it um, the DEI, diversity, equity, inclusion, mostly for uh, you know a lot of corporates now looking into it. They want to bring that uh, gender parity, right? They want to bring more women into the workforce. Um, they want to bring. Um, they want. They want to make sure women equally get paid uh, with men. Yeah, you know, and those are the things that we built into it. I didn't bring the topic here because I don't know how much um, you know we have time. But that's uh, if you're interested, we you will look into it. But we've been deploying the air platform uh, in the US, especially. You know, uh, in our in, in India, most of the uh, diversity is about gender uh, par parity men versus women uh, workforce. But if you go to the Western part of the world, then we have this uh, ethnic parity, right? We have um, uh, African-Americans, whites and Asians and, you know, Hispanic, Latino and, and Native Indians, all of these different parts. So we, that, that was built extensively for even to those uh, kind of uh, um, the, the countries. So, but, um, that's why we're not talking about, but, you know, CPAL does bring into um, these areas, interview selection, you can do it you now on, you know, new employer uh, onboarding, you know, you have very customized dashboards and reports can be built into it. Candidate engagement is what I was talking to you. How do we engage the candidates? Um, and then, um, you know, vendor management, if you look into a large supplier base, then how do you manage your SOW services? How do you manage your, um, yeah, contingent is just temp staffing uh, workers on and who is your best suppliers you can you can you can do a lot of things uh, with it um there's another thing i wanted to point out is people analytics is basically you know when we look for a candidate we most often we look for candidate skill set but uh, there is also uh we have uh, integrated with the dot in which talks about candidate fitment to the job personality fitment to the job so this is being deployed to large uh, system integrators and large corporate clients. Uh, they are interested into it. Okay, a lot of times you will only talk about uh, skill set fitment, but how about their personality fitment to the job? So that's also being integrated into the platform. Um, you know, I think um, yeah, yeah. You know, one thing that I wanted to leave it to you that 
Today, if you're a staffing firm, you're serious about building a great business. Um, if you don't have some of these uh, intelligent platforms that does a lot of things to you, if you don't leverage automation, you don't leverage the AI, it, if you don't leverage your business insights, uh, you probably don't go too far in building the business. Um, so this is the technology play is the crucial for um, staffing success. And, and because one uh, talent becomes extremely uh, a scarce resource. In fact, I, you know, I always like to say talent is the new gold because if you have the, the talent that you can get it, um, you probably can triple the business in within two years. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't get the talent we, we need it, right? If, if you look into it, we ask our staffing firms, what percentage of the jobs that you are able to address? Quite often, we hear less than 50%. So if you have, if you get a few hundred jobs from different client things, you probably don't even attempt 50 of them. Uh, you, you actually find candidates and submit the candidates. Uh, imagine if you have a talent that you could able to submit to all 100 jobs, you could triple your business in two years, right? But you may not be able to um, get all 100%, but can we get to more than 50%? Can we get to 60%? But how do you do that unless you have, uh, you know, automation platforms that helps you to do that? So this is, uh, I, I think that's pretty much I have it. I will be happy to take any questions um, uh, over to the, our, our friends at ISF. Thank you.